Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with uh, Warp Drive M. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to drive an, a car with an automatic gearbox. So, let's begin! So, first things first. We notice that we have just two pedals. Brake and gas pedal. On the automatic gearbox, we don't have the clutch pedal. So this is um, the user interface uh, from an automatic gearbox. As you can see here, here we have the schematic, how you have to use the lever. This is the lever uh, and behind it has a release button, an unlock button, because every time when you put in a specific position, it will lock it itself. So that's why you need a release button to release from this position to put in the other the other ones. So this release button uh, may vary from uh, manufacturer to manufacturers. Some cars have uh, the button right here uh, or on on the sides. But every automatic gearbox has a release button or an unlock button. This one is a mechanical button. And there are a few models, uh, cars, that have electronic, just a electronic button like these buttons. You have just have to push and uh, it's gonna automatically, electronically release from uh, a specific position. So, the schematic, the position of the gear lever, P, R, N, D. And uh, sometimes you see these symbols as well, plus, minus, ms. So let's begin. P is for, for park, R is for reverse, N is neutral, D is drive. And uh, what these things means, I explain you now. So M is for manual, S is for sport, plus and minus. When you put the, uh, the car in manual, you can shift manually the, the the gears the, between the gears smaller gears bigger gears so from four to three from um, three to four and now let's demonstrate how to operate this gearbox so first of all when you start an automatic uh, a car with an automatic gearbox you always have to put the foot on the brake and if your car has a key you have to put the key into the car and turn the key to on position or like my um, model had the start stop button so put the uh, foot on the brake pedal start so the car is on and now you can release the brake because the car is in the park you don't need a, uh, the handbrake as well because, like I've said, the car is in park. So, for every uh, switch of the position or to put the car into drive or reverse or something like that, you have to put always the foot on the brake, push the release button. Oops, let me try with the other hand. Push the release button and put the car into reverse now you can release the unlock button yeah that's why uh, that's my parking sensor so you can now the car is into reverse you can see the light as well again press the unlock button neutral drive now you can drive with your car and to see what this uh, does you just have to push the lever onto left now this LED comes and said that this the car is in sport first the car goes into sport drive sport and when you push up or down as you can see now M manual 2 manual 3 manual 4 and let me film like this Manual 1, Manual 2, Manual 3, and so on. Manual 1. You can put always the car into drive back again. 
and when you want to park the car press the release button park and now you can release the foot from the and now let's drive so the car is in park I put the foot on the brake press the release or unlock button put the car into drive I notice as well in the cluster that I have drive selected and now all you have to do is just release the brake you don't have to push any gas as you can see the car is rolling without pressing the gas because it's always because it's engaged into drive and now I press the gas and the car is moving okay and now I have to go to complete stop I press the brake the car has stopped I don't have to push any clutch anything I just use one foot I leave the gas completely and press the brake till the car stops now I have to go I have to drive away I just leave the brake and give some gas so now I came I've came to a complete stop I'm in a parking lot the car is still in drive as you can see here I have the foot on the brake I'm gonna press the unlock button or release button put the car into park in the park and now I can release the brake and I even don't have to use the handbrake because when the car is in to park all four uh, wheels are gonna be locked so now you can turn off the car and that's about it and like all the things the automatic gearbox has his pros and cons so like pros are you can drive very easily you just have to use one foot and it's very uh, very very good in the city driving and uh, you don't have to use every time a clutch to change the gears the uh, automatic gearbox make make that for you and um, like the cons are uh, the automatic gearbox change the gears for you when it decided that it's time to change the gear you don't have to do anything but it's not like uh, when you drive a manual gearbox you change the gears when you want to change the gear and you can push your car to the limits another pro another good point for the automatic gearbox the engine will never stall on an automatic gearbox so you cannot stall the engine when you drive off so just release the brake push the gas and the car will uh, drive on the clutch you have to be careful with the clutch and the gas in the same time because you can stall the engine and you have to uh, make it over and over again <laughs> so I think that's about it for today's video it is quite easy to drive an automatic uh, a car with an automatic gearbox but uh, a big a big uh, uh, tip uh, when you change uh, a car with a manual gearbox and you drive start driving a car with an automatic gearbox you always have to be careful with the brake pedal because uh, you you're gonna push the brake pedal with your uh, left foot is like when you push the clutch and it's a big problem because when you push the brake with the left foot it's gonna the complete the, the car completely stops like instantly and when you have cars behind you it's gonna be 100% an accident so i've um, i've have I've had the, this situation myself because uh, I drive uh, more like manual cars. Uh, I have uh, my wife's car is a manual. I have another car uh, that I'm working with, and it's a manual as well. In here in U Europe, most of the car, the cars are sold with a manual gearbox. So, 
be careful when you switch between the manual gearbox and the automatic gearbox you don't have to use just the right foot when you use the left foot it's going to be dangerous so please uh, try this in a parking lot uh, drive in uh, side uh, way uh, roads when it's n where is not so much traffic and you get used to with the automatic gearbox and after that you can see if this fits for you or not so I think that's about it for today's episode. If you like the video and find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. And if you want to see how to drive a manual uh, a car with a manual gearbox, I'm going to put a link somewhere here or here or in the description below. So until next time, see you later.